Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Pisces Soul Trap. I want to get into a quick general read for you. And of course, anything you need from me can be found down below in the description box. Spirit, what is surrounding Pisces at this present time? Okay, three of pentacles. Nine of wands. Knight of Pentacles, King of Wands, as well as the King of Cups. Mm, so Pisces, very interesting. They, this King of Wands, you know, and like right now at this moment, I'm not getting, um, you know, the typical Knight of Wands energy, somebody who's just, you know, driven just strictly by passion or, you know, some, the, you know, a particular person who is just very lustful um, and not really um, committal because he's a king, but like not really committal in the sense of, you know, the areas of sex, passion and, you know, things concerning that. I feel like this, this king is restricted from your energy. It's like. Whoever this King of Wands is, your focus is not on him, uh, is not on them at this present time. Your focus is on what you're nurturing, what you're um, attending to, something that needs your care. I feel like you removed your care from a particular situation because from what I'm seeing, there is no emotions here except you, this King of Cups. But let's see, let's let's clarify and see what the deeper message is here, because like I definitely feel like somebody's um, restricted from you, especially with this nine of wands. This nine of wands is just is consistently um, in the energy, you know, feeling like you've been through a lot, Pisces, um, with a particular individual. And feeling guarded off from that person right now, restricting um, any offers that they would present to you, not really wanting anything from you. But I do feel like this King of Wands definitely wants to um, approach you, but I definitely feel like this is something something that's happening very slowly, um, something that's happening with a lot with a lot, lot of um, methodology, somebody who is like really strategic about something. Spirit, this Three of Pentacles. So Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. So definitely um, someone who is definitely um, in an energy of possibly wanting to reconcile something with you is what I'm feeling. Want to create something with you um, as well. But with this Nine of Wands here, there definitely is some fine hesitation with something. Spirit, what's what's hidden here? So the strength as well as the five of um, cups to the will of fortune. I feel like there is somebody who is wanting another chance is what I'm feeling with this will of fortune. Wanting another, another chance to possibly um, present um, something to you. Maybe speak about, you know, how they were led to talk about some form of disappointment or some sort of changes that they also experienced in a relationship. Especially with the hangman at the behind the wheel of fortune, definitely a changed perspective. I feel like somebody here um, is learning um, some form of lessons. Why is this important, Spirit? What does this have to do with Pisces? With the justice, definitely something that that um, I feel like you caused a tower. Um, you caused some sort of karma, some sort of balance um, within someone else's life. There's something here about what you give um, to other people, Pisces. And this could, um, this doesn't really necessarily um, have to be a love dynamic. This could be, um, this could be a friend. Um, this could be um, family. But there's something that you did, particularly with someone, um, someone who you had a lot of love for, somebody who had a lot of love for you, um, with this ten of cups but somebody really saw you mature standing standing your power standing some some sort of confidence and i feel like this is something um that somebody learned from by by watching you okay this nine of wands why the nine of wands spirit 
so seven of cups so some form of illusion um two of cups definitely involvement with somebody um i feel like you you began to see um something very clearly and like i feel like that that was the start of someone's um change something about you became restricted guarded off from somebody i feel like you became um in essence some sort of um hermit possibly as well um, um, three of swords at the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel like there was something um, that you experienced within some sort of dynamic that was very deceitful because what's this seven of cups? What form of seven of cups is this spirit? Five of pentacles. Yeah, I definitely feel like this was somebody who possibly um, was um, being intimate in other spaces and not so intimate with, with you, Pisces. I definitely feel like somebody began to um, possibly leave you out of some um, some erotic space is what I'm hearing. OK, some space of pleasure. OK, um, indulgence. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit, what else with this two of cups and this seven of cups? Ace of cups. Yep, 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 yep. I feel like even if someone was to come back with and offer you up some form of love, even if they were a perfect match for you, this is someone that you are definitely on guard about, you know, definitely restricting um, yourself from. Um, definitely feel like this is also possibly somebody that you may even have blocked. One more spirit. Okay. Six of Swords. I feel like you are just deciding to um, move forward peacefully and quietly is also what I'm hearing. And I don't even feel like this is even something that you are speaking up about. I feel like this is possibly something that you that you may even feel that someone is, you know, in some other space. This is all your feelings. This is I feel like this is why you are restricted. You are restricted because somebody left you out, left you out of something very meaningful, something very important um, to you as well. Spirit, what is this Knight of Pentacles? High Priestess. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Very strong and heavy um, High Priestess. Ten of Wands, Two of Swords, Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, can I have one more? ace of pentacles i feel like you view you viewed something this is something that you knew before you actually um presented it especially with this this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles you are definitely standing in some dominant bold energy here and you are being viewed as somebody who is very highly intuitive and very spiritual i feel like you know something is coming your way you probably even know how it's coming um because you know someone's behavior very well is also what i'm hearing there's something here about somebody not really changing much as well as much as they say they are um is definitely some some sort of mask um some sort of illusion and like i definitely feel like this is something that you see clearly i feel like you are definitely grounded you are definitely a stable individual but when you view things as an overburden when you think view things as heavy there's something here about you getting getting rid of getting rid of things making decision making decision decisions <laughs> and choices to move forward and move on to other spaces and when you make these decisions they are solid stable decisions somebody is not backtracking is what i'm hearing with this six of pentacles definitely somebody's not backtracking <laughs> spirit what's this king of wands okay Ah, uh, so the Empress, Two of Wands, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody who is finally um, in some way taking, taking the time to like really heal and really think about the things that have transpired um, within a relationship, okay? Definitely somebody who is definitely in some energy um, looking your way is also what I'm hearing. OK, um, thinking about um, approaching you, thinking about speaking some form of truth to you, thinking about revealing um, their journey so far is also what I'm hearing 
with this king of wands i feel like there was some sort of evolution some sort of change and some sort of growth i feel like somebody evolved okay um this doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to come back to you because definitely queen of swords because that's that's the the feel the vibration you know that they are coming up this is someone who is um very thoughtful right now in their mind um is definitely what um i'm, I'm seeing here with this four of swords to this queen of swords someone is in their minds in the, in their thoughts why the queen of swords The hermit as well as the queen of cups. Yep, they're all in their feelings. Feelings, um, uh, their mind and emotions is where somebody is at this current time. Somebody is really considering the journey. Somebody is really considering the things that they have gone through. Um, definitely some sort of introspection. Uh, and I also feel like this is someone who is knowing that there are changes that need to be made before they even even give up or present themselves, you know, in some sort of um, love dynamic. But this is definitely someone who is attracting things to them, attracting things that belong to them um, as well. This could be you, Pisces, as well. Spirit king of cups will of fortune we do have the queen and the king of cups here i feel like this is someone who is um changing to possibly meet you where you are with this king of cups um the will of fortune is here but you are at with the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um you are experiencing what i'm hearing is some sort of good fortune this is like the time for you to manifest legacy the time for you to manifest and create in spaces that you want to create um things that are definitely um emotionally fulfilling for you but there's definitely something here about you focused um on your emotions at this present time but definitely um maturity um with these emotions at this time i feel like you know how to use which emotion at whatever time you need to use them something very grounded um, uh, um about you as well but i'm definitely seeing something about some sort of timing the world yep it's almost like things are working out in your favor at this present time with the higher fun at the bottom of the deck um definitely um guided you're a very definitely a guided individual and i i feel like this is now where the journey um begins is what i'm feeling what else spirit okay so the eight of wands as well as the five of swords um, seven of swords um, as well at the bottom of the deck I feel like there's something here about you um, shattering um, some sort of myth or some sort of expectations is what I'm hearing nine of pentacles is definitely like a damned what people think about me um, if it's not about you as an individual, it's not about where you're going. Um, if it's not about what you're what you're focused on, if it does not edify, if it does not live uplift, if it does not encourage, if it does not in some way build um, you up, you are not interested in this energy at this present time. What else, spirit? <laughs> Page of Cups to the temperance your focus definitely is um on the things that are most um imaginative to you as well i feel like there is some form of healing of um some imaginative space going back to those things um that you used to do as a child is what i'm hearing okay definitely feeling like some form of youthful energy some sort of youthful um exuberance um king of swords i feel like you um established um and grounded and built some sort of um territory boundaries is also what i'm hearing um with the tower at the bottom of the deck okay definitely some changes that you know you needed to make um concerning you four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck yeah I feel like you also knew that there were things that you need to hold back from um, people that you possibly ended cycles with, with this 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're holding back a lot of the things and plans that you have going on at this present time. I feel like you no longer give a damn what people think 
um, how people feel. Um, I don't feel like you're um, seeking anyone's opinion about what you're um, executing and planning and, and, and about to put into works. I feel like you're the type of individual now where you just pop up and boom, there it is. Um, if people ask, if people have questions, I feel like you do um, in some way, in some capacity, explain things. But I also definitely feel like you are not asking for anyone's opinion at this present time. What else, Spirit? Any other messages? Six of Pentacles. Yep. Definitely have gone inward. And like, I feel like the connectivity to the divine and what you have incoming and outgoing at the present time, some sort of what I'm saying is the infinity symbol. So definitely um, resting on some sort of trust, resting on some of receptivity, um, connectivity that you have um, with the divine. Because at this present time, what's true, honest and upright um, is most significant to you um, in this moment. Pisces Soul Tribe, that was your reading. Um, hopefully this message resonated with you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, and you were able to take something from it that you can use. Pisces, if there's anything you need from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. Of course, including the Afterthought Tarot Party Uncut. I'm telling y'all, y'all do not want to miss this. If you can be a part of this, you definitely want to be in the room. And what's so special about this is that energy will be present and relegated to those people who are in that room. So it's definitely going to feel more personal. I feel like there will be things that um, will resonate more personally. We'll be able to spend more time together and we can get to know each other a whole lot more. I'm actually excited to meet some of you all. So listen, anything else? Remember to conquer this day. <laughs> Bye, guys.